everybody, welcome to iBeauty Makeup's channel. Today I have a tutorial for you with um, a very brown and fall um, smoky eye uh, that can either be toned down or either toned up depending on uh, the type of occasion that you're using it for. I had a lot of fun doing this look. I wanted to do something a little bit more muted. So this is the look I'm going for today. A lot of browns, a lot of uh, gray-ish browns colors with a lot of contour and if you want to know how I did this look stay tuned so the first thing we're gonna do is use a base I'm using bare study um, paint pot and I'm just going to apply that with my fingers just on the moving lid then the first color I'm going to use is all races um, this is a matte eyeshadow um, very very pale um, almost chalky looking beige, uh, grayish beige. Uh, and I'm just going to um, pat the color and apply it on top of that um, bare study. Then the next color I'm going to use is a skin tone um, shade. Um, this is a Bam uh, Bisque. Um, whatever matches for you as a skin tone. I'm trying not to tilt it because it's broken. Um, but it's a very very light flesh color and I'm going to apply that um, all over um, from the crease all the way to the eyebrow bone. Then I'm going to grab a brown pigment. This one is Rich Life. Uh, any brown that you have will work. I um, just wanted to use something um, that would be very red um, but dark brown at the same time. I'm going to use that with a angle brush and I'm going to just trace a line right on my crease. So it should look like this. If you've noticed I've, left, I've left this area um, untouched. I don't want to close the eye um, for the moment and I just rounded up the um, cut crease line with uh, that pigment. I'm gonna go in with a blending brush. Um, this is a 217 by MAC and just um, swipe back and forth and just blend that color. To help me blend that color, I'm gonna use Cross Cultural, which is a very um, soft brown, uh, but very dark. After that, I'm going to go back with the same color and a small shader brush. We're going to put some of that color there. And I'm going to place my finger here to um, create a little bit of a guideline. And I'm going to bring some of that color to meet the corner. This will create the inverted V. I'm going to blend some of that with a blending brush. Then I'm going to follow um, by highlighting the um, eyelid with vanilla, which is a um, shimmery it's not a shimmery it's it's a matte color but it has a nice sheen to it um off white and i'm just going to apply it right in the middle of the lid like that clean your brush and then i'm going to blend i'm also going to apply some of that vanilla on the um as a highlighter right below the arch of my brow. Then I'm going to use Fascinating Eye Cull and I'm going to um, line my waterline and extend it a little bit out. I'm going to set that with an angle brush and some more of that vanilla. Just pat the color on top. After that, I'm going to use Power Search, which is a um, metallic bronze um, liner. 
and I'm going to line um, the lower lash line and right here at the edge I'm gonna start flicking it out because I want it to um, to get a little lower so right here at the edge I'm gonna start pulling out it should look like that with a mini shader brush I'm going to use again the same um, brown cross-cultural color I've been using and just pat the color on top of the eyeliner after that I'm gonna go um, back again with the um, rich life pigment and I'm going to pick up some of that in my small shader brush and as well I'm going to pat that on top of the eyeliner with a small branding brush I'm going to diffuse that line apply some of the vanilla on the um, inner corner next we are going to use a dark brown um, eye pencil I am using photogravure and I'm going to line on top very 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 close to the lash line and I'm only going to line until here I'm not going to take it all the way in don't forget to tight line with the same angle brush that we used um, earlier to do our cut crease I'm going to pick up some more of um, that pigment and I'm going to smudge the um, eyeliner alright that is it for the eyes I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and put some false eyelashes and I'll be right back to do the rest of the face welcome back so I put on my eyelashes and all that good stuff so I'm just gonna um, go ahead and show you the final look um, it's very fall very um, muted you know there is a difference between the browns and the bronzes that we use for summer and uh, the the browns and bronzes that we use for fall a lot of the colors yes they are very similar um, but fall colors are a little bit more cold uh, although they are warm um, colors uh, just the shade is a little bit more um, grayish instead of being more red base or a coppery base so here it is once again I hope you liked it I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you what I used on the rest of my face for my blush I wanted to uh, like I said on the beginning of the video this is a very contoured look so I um, went a little bit heavier than usual on the contour around my cheekbones right below here and the jawline and um, on the temples and uh, as well for the highlighter because I wanted um, the features to stand out a little bit more and I stayed with something very pink and glowy and, and uh, corally so I use makeup designery glow um, blush which is a beautiful um, rosy very glowy type color and I kept it um, pretty much on the back of my cheeks and blended it with um, once I was done with all my contouring with a kabuki brush to make sure that um, it was pretty seamless for my lips I used a very pale pink um, it's not coming out as pale it's it's more of a rose color this is um, nude rose uh, it was from the D squared collection but um, any uh, pretty much any color that you want to pair this look with will work um, if you want to go a little bit more evening and a little bit more strong you can definitely do a vampy lip uh, or if you want to go even lighter than what I'm wearing and uh, do something like creme de nude or very 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 pale lips it'll also work on top of that I used um, Dazzle Glass in Sublime, Sublime Shine which is a beautiful peachy um, Dazzle Glass with um, multicolor uh, glitter and for my eyelashes I used the Demi Pixies um, this is what, I don't know if you can tell, 
So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in a little bit for the eyes so you can have a better idea. And that is about it for the look of today. So I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you did, uh, please uh, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what are the colors that you are getting into this fall. And uh, if you have any requests, uh, don't be shy. Leave me a comment. Let me know which look you'd like me to do for you. And it'll be my pleasure. So until next time, bye-bye.